In radio, it's Brother Wheeze up there in Rochester. Before that, I was doing radio very, very wrong. Oh, my God. I was a kid with a uh, weak Long Island accent trying to have the golden pipes so I could say you're a home of rock and roll because that's what it was about back then, the golden pipes. You're not really saying anything, but, man, do you sound awesome. And then I heard uh, Brother Wheeze's voice coming from uh, one of the fraternity rooms. I should thank that guy. There was somebody in my fraternity that was listening to Brother Weeze up there in Rochester when we were going to college in Geneseo. And he was on a home of rock and roll. And then I heard this, no offense to Weeze, kind of a crappy voice. Definitely a voice that was very different than everybody else on the radio as everybody else had those golden pipes. And then uh, I'm like, wow, his voice is a little weird. But man, he's really interesting and, and saying like cool stuff. And then like worlds collided. The biggest influence in my uh, professional career, Brother Weeze, and a close second to Sam Kinison, who came in and did Brother Weeze's show for uh, a bunch of days. It felt like close to a week. And because I was in uh, Brother Weeze's inner circle, even though I was a plebe, just getting started in radio, he uh, he uh, allowed me to be very close to Sam Kinison for a few days in a row. And man, you, you, you think like one day or a couple days or a few days could change your life. I truly believe it can. Uh, the edge that guy had and um, knowing where the line was and knowing when he could go over the line and say some outrageous, crazy crap, but also bring it back. That's the key that a lot of these people don't understand. And it's the key to the Opie and Anthony show as well. There's a line and it's our jobs to kind of explore the other side of that line. But if you live on the other side of that line, this is getting technical for people. That's when you get in a lot of trouble. But if you go over the line and just when people are like, these guys are nuts, you bring it back to safety. And Kinnison knew how to do that. I mean, just beautifully. He was so edgy, but there was a little twinkle in his eye when he was saying all his crazy ass shit. And watching him on the radio with Brother Weeze for those two or three days in a row, it changed my life. I went, aha! And I, I moved in a very, very different direction with my uh, my radio career. And, you know, I, I, I think I would have done all right no matter what. But uh, getting to see Kinnison and, and Weez, uh do radio like that, wow. To this day, to this day, I think about that.